Uh, I am here. We're going to go to war with our old rivals. It's still our rivals, but not as significant as it used to be. But it's looking like we're getting back to those days again. There's a lot more heavier police today, uh, for obvious reasons. Man United v Arsenal um, was the Premier League rivalry. Um, between, like the height of it was between 1998 and 2004. Every year the two teams be battling out. The players hated each other, the managers hated each other, the fans hated each other. I grew up with that, so I grew up hating Man United more than Tottenham actually. So In that specific seven year period, um, Arsenal won three Premier Leagues and Man United won four. Um, obviously they went on to win a lot more than us because we, you know, we sort of fell off. <laughs> That's an understatement. As I said, we could be getting back to those days again because Arsenal are currently first with a nice lead. Very surprising. <laughs> I did not expect this at the start of the season, but here we are, still top at the end of January. And Man United are third, and I think they are in with a chance of winning the title. I think they've got every chance right now. And if they beat us, that's huge for them. So it's important for us to get this victory. Um, it's very important, not just to beat them, but you know, if we win today, we've got a decent lead uh, at the top of the table with a game in hand. And also, we'd have 50 points after exactly half the games in our season, which is unheard of for us because it's been a while since we've done this well. Um, we've done incredible, only failed to win three games. One loss, the one loss was to Man United away. So we need a bit of revenge. And obviously, we absolutely hate them and they hate us. This could be a great game. Um, I'm hoping for a nice win, but it's not going to be very nice today, I'll tell you that much. So, like, uh, we had a couple of players, including Saka, on, a, on like one yellow card away from a suspension. So, uh, and that was like three games ago. So, luckily, he got away with no cards against Spurs. That's a massive uh, W for us. But also, um, for Man United, Casemiro is suspended. He got a yellow card in midweek against Crystal Palace. So, he won't play today. And he's a key player for them. He's been, you know, one of their best players. Uh, especially after the World Cup. Before the World Cup, they were not having a great season. But since the World Cup, they've really come back. And I think, I mean, I don't hate Ronaldo, but I think him leaving has kind of saved their season. Whether it's 1-0 or 5-0, I don't care. I just want a win. <laughs> that, that's all we need. We need the three points and then we move on to the next game. But even if we win, I'm still not convinced we can win the league. Why? Well, look up Arsenal win 07-08, 08-09, 10-11. Uh, 13, 14. Uh, these are just four examples. There's more examples. There's examples of us where we have either been top of the league or near the top of the league with a chance of winning the league. And then we slip away in February and March. The last few months of the season where we start choking and we just... How well we played the first, like, 75% of the season, the last 25% were awful. Like, it's happened before. So I've seen this story before. Yes, I know we're in a, we're in a great position. But um, I'm not saying any, I'm holding back until April. If we're still top in April with a nice lead, then I'll start believing. I want us to win the league. I love, I'd love it this season. And I think, you know, there's definitely a chance. But I can't bring myself to believe yet uh, because of what I've seen my club do um, over the past couple of decades. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I sound negative. Trust me, I want to win the league. It's just that I can't convince myself that we will until a certain point. And also, We've got to play Man City twice, we've got Newcastle away, we've got Liverpool away. Uh, still got to play Chelsea, so uh, you know, there's a long way to go. Uh, half the season, actually, after this. So, uh, and there's Europa League coming in, of course, there's more games. Um, and depends how we do in the FA Cup as well, so yeah. I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to go in, show you my view, and then uh, it's going to be a big game. You know me, in my vlogs, I don't have to record myself, I just watch the game. But when there's a goal or, you know, there's great atmosphere, I get my camera out. But uh, I'll let you know my thoughts after the game. But first of all, this is my view. Here is the view. YouTube, beautiful day. Love the song. Love it. City won 3 0. Harlan had three. We need to win today.
Yeah, even look, look at the players for their time. That they know it's going to be...
What a game, what a feeling. Last week, last Sunday, we beat Spurs away and now we've beat Man United. You, you cannot get any better than this. <laughs> when we're playing Chelsea, I think it's April. We have beaten them this season. We've won so many, so many big games this season, we've beaten Liverpool as well. But this just feels extra special. This and the Spurs game, two massive games, two games where we turned up and won the game. Today was a bit more, you know, not as clean as last week. Last week was pretty clean. This week, well, <laughs> it started off badly. Um, we started brightly, but did take our chances. Rashford scored, it was a good goal. Good goal into the bottom corner. But we did give the ball away. We gave him too much space to shoot, and I think Ramsdale could have done better. It was good into the bottom corner, to be fair. It was a good shot. I still, it felt to me in, in real time like Ramsdale could have done better, but a good goal. It's just that we should have avoided it, to be honest. Uh, but we fought back. And we got our equaliser before half time. Uh, brilliant header from Nketiah. And Nketiah is proving me wrong. And I'm happy. Because I didn't think he was good enough. But so far he's proving himself. So far he's proving that he is good enough to be here. And I am happy to be proven wrong. Ultimately, I want Arsenal to do well. So if Nketiah is going to do that for us, help us do well, I'm all for it. Even though I criticise them myself, I am more than happy for him to help my club. And I love him for it. So... Fair, fair play, great header as well. And then the second goal came almost out of nowhere. The, the game was quite slow at the time. Saka hits it, left-footed, outside the box. It goes straight into the bottom corner. I'm just like, wow. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew he's capable. I knew he was capable of doing that, but wow. Like, th that was incredible. That shot was incredible. Left-footed, into the far corner. De Gea's not saving that. And he almost did it again, hit the post. So unlucky. Um, United did equalize, of course. I think Ramsdale made a silly mistake, um, let them back in the game, unfortunately. Uh, it came so quickly after, the, after our second goal as well, so frustrating. Um, but we dominated after that. We had a lot of chances, missed a few, and Ketcha missed a big chance. Um, we'll, we'll let him off on that one. But not too long after, he made up for it with a, uh, with a flick into the goal. It was an offside shout. Even I thought it was offside, actually. I was kind of scared, but the VAR confirmed it was not offside, so uh, I am grateful for that. <laughs> so good, man. It wasn't clean, but we beat them. We beat them. We bloody beat them. We lost to them away at Old Trafford. Our only defeat this season was to them. We haven't played Man City yet, but still, everyone we've played so far, apart from Man City, we've, we haven't, we've lost to Man United, and that's it. Uh, we drew Southampton as well, so that's something we need to rectify. Who else do we draw with? We drew with someone else. Can't think of it actually. We haven't played Everton either. We haven't played Everton. We've got to play them twice. That's our game in hand. Everton at home is our game in hand. It's not been scheduled yet. We've got Everton away next though in the league, followed by Brentford. And then it's Man City on a Wednesday night. Um, I can't go to that game, but that's going to be huge. If we can win that game, it's at home. If we can win the next two against Everton and Brentford and then beat Man City, we'd be in a great position. Would I believe them? Not yet. Not yet. Ask me in April. Ask me in April. Some of you fans who don't support Arsenal are probably thinking, you're probably looking at the table thinking, and, and the games we won, and you're probably thinking like, how does this guy still not think they can win the league? I have my reasons, all right? Previous seasons, I know they've been, I know they're a while ago now, but like, I've seen the story before. We're in the title race and we drop off in February and March, all right? I'm, I'm gonna wait. We haven't played City yet either. That's, that's huge. We've got to play them twice. So that's another thing. Still got to go away to Newcastle, away to Liverpool. Uh, yeah, that's who we drew to, Newcastle. So that's the other game we got rectified. Um, but yeah, this is huge. And uh, we need to win these sorts of games if we're going to be serious about winning the league. And uh, we have done so. So uh, if we can get a win against City as well in a few weeks, we've got a real chance of doing it. And uh, I really hope we do. I really hope we do. But um, yeah, I'm glad I got a ticket for this because um, it went on sale and I forgot. So it sold out. Yeah, that's... 
So um, there's a system on Arsenal's website where season ticket holders who can't attend for whatever reason, they can resell their ticket through Arsenal. So you've got to go on a ticket website and you've got to just keep refreshing. And literally the moment that someone listed their ticket, it pops up, right? The moment someone listed it, I refreshed. When I refreshed it, someone listed their ticket just then at that second, I snapped it. One seat left, I snapped it and I got it. <laughs> Uh, so I got I got kind of lucky to kind of fortunate to uh, get this ticket, but because uh, like I tried for Tottenham for so long, I refreshed for days and days and days, never got a ticket for the Tottenham game. But this one I did just on the off chance that I logged in at the right time and I refreshed at the right time and I got a ticket. Anyway, yeah, um, that's it from me. I'm so happy uh, we did incredibly well. And uh, again, it wasn't clean, but most important thing is the win. We won the game. And now we've got to move on. But it, it can all be undone. So we need to focus on we need to take it game by game. Next up, we got FA Cup. Man City away in the FA Cup. And then we've got Brentford and Everton in the league. Then Man City in the league. Got to take it game by game. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens uh, against Man City away on Friday. Obviously, different competition. But hopefully we can win that as well. That would be fantastic. Uh, but it's going to be very tough. But, um, yeah, for now, I'm very happy. <laughs> And I hope you enjoyed the vlog. You probably didn't if you're a Man United fan, but I still hope you, uh, most of you enjoyed the vlog anyway. So they closed Arsenal tube station underground, I don't know why, uh, there's something wrong with the station. So everyone went to Finsbury Park and it was so packed there, I thought, let me take a bus home. I get on the bus, which will take me home. I had to terminate early. Um, so I'm going to walk the rest of the way, but literally behind that flat behind me is Tottenham Stadium. I am in the wrong territory. My bus has screwed me here. I'm wearing red. Let me just, let me just quietly walk, keep a low profile. It's currently around minus one, minus two degrees in, in London. There's a chance of snow this week as well. Um, it's freezing. Normally when you're cold, you want something warm, you know, like a hot drink, like tea or coffee. I see McDonald's and I think, what do I want? I want ice cream. I want a McFlurry. In minus two, I want ice cream. Now, am I a madman? Yes, but I'm a great madman. I just walked past the Tottenham pub. Clearly quite, it's called the White Horse. It's definitely a Tottenham pub. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Streets are quiet. Great, have to play the electric soon. The most expensive electricity in, in the world, by the way, apparently, in the UK now. It's a crisis. <laughs> look how much money is being topped up. And look at the dates. <laughs> look how quickly it's going. 3rd of January, 67 quid, yeah? There was a bit more than that, I think. There was like 70 or something. Look at it, it's gone. It's gone. And I'm back home. You're probably wondering what this says. So I'll just open it up and show you. Never heard of Pick Story, but they're collabing with us. Pick Story and Arsenal are building a safe space where community and differences are celebrated. In 2023, the power, of ch power to change the narrative by leading with compassion and advocacy lies of us read that completely wrong but you can see it arsenal and pick story call upon gooners around the world to play your part against hate language online abuse discrimination and violence that is a very good message if you, if you want to scan that you can there you go i'm sure that will scan through your computer screen or whatever you're watching on um play your part there you go so uh we use these to clap at the start of the game mainly but uh yeah, there we go. Brought this home as a souvenir, I guess. I was meant to end this vlog at the Emirates, but I'm going to end it now. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you well. Um, I'm going to a game in March. Yeah, March, I think, is my next one. So, uh, unfortunately, that is how it is. <laughs> I work every other weekend, so I need the, the games to fall on the right day, right weekends. Even when they do, they set out so quick. So, uh, I go to what I go to, and, uh, yeah, in March, I will see you then. Hope hopefully two games in March. Hopefully two. Because I'm going to, I'm going holiday at the end of March, but before then there's two home games I can go to. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> in terms of Arsenal vlogs, I'll see you in two months.